uh, uh, program, alhamdulillah. So he's left behind a lot of work. He served the community of Mewat. I remember people will come from those who know India, people will come from Rajasthan, from uh, uh, the entire Haryana province, Punjab, UP, just to come in and, and find a, a fatwa or, a, or, or Islamic ruling and or to get advice. And when he passed away uh, in 2019, probably a week just before COVID-19, uh, he uh, uh, approximately 70 to 80,000 people attended his uh, Subhanallah, uh, subhanallah. The more you mention about Mewat and your grandfather and your great grandfather, you make me feel like visiting Mewat. I've never seen, I've never been to Mewat. So, uh, is there a possibility that we'll have to go visit Mewat together, inshallah? We Definitely, we are taking Al Hikma TV to Mewat, inshallah. Definitely. Definitely, we're going to do some live and direct. So tell us before we close the second segment, we got about three, four minutes to close this uh, second segment before we go on break. Uh, tell us a little bit about your mother, your mother's connection with Maulana Zakaria, who is well known for Fadail Tabliq and Fadail uh, Darud and all the books he wrote and his spirituality. How was your mother connected to him so my mother's mother we call uh, nani apa khadija rahimahullah mm -hmm. who also passed away now in the last uh, two, two, two years ago uh she, when she, so her so to understand this we need to understand her father her father was bolana hanif uh, rahimahullah and he was in charge of the cooking in the markas mm -hmm. and um he used to teach bolana ilyas and the other scholars is to teach their children maktab. So Molana, so Sheikh Zakaria Rahimahullah was very fond of my grandmother who was growing up as, as a child. So at a very young age, probably uh, from the age of uh, two or three years old, she was in the house of Sheikh Zakaria and he grew her up until the days just before she got married. So Alhamdulillah from that side, she was uh, grew up in the house of Sheikh Zakaria Rahimahullah. Your grandmother. Only that, my grandmother, yes. Right. Uh, we go back to Mulana Abdullah Rahmatullah, his father-in-law, whose name was also Abdullah, known as Miyaji Abdullah. Now, Miyaji uh, Abdullah, he was a direct student of Mulana Ismail. Mulana Ismail was the father of Mulana Ilyas Rahmatullah. So, that is the father-in-law of Mulana Abdullah Rahmatullah. And um, he also had senior scholars, I mean, just between him and Shah, we all know the great scholar Shah Walullah Dehlawi. There's only three people between his chain of narration in Hadith and to, to Shah Walullah Rahmatullah. So within the family, from my, my, my father's side and my mother's side, uh, there's there's a few branches which go back to before even the work of Tabliq started because it was known as Bangla Wali Masjid. That is, uh, for those of you who don't know, the Nizamuddin in India, the Marcus, it was known as the Bangla Wali Masjid. One more point I want to bring up, Mufti Rashid, Rahmatullah Alay, and my mother's father, whose name was Mulana Tayyib Rahmatullah Alay, who was a Shaykhul Hadith in Bukhari, the biggest Darulum in Mewat. He, he taught Hadith, he passed away about four years now. He taught Hadith in Mewat for 50 years, he gave his life teaching Hadith. Subhanallah. So Mulana Tayyib, Mulana Tayyib, and Mufti Rashid are first cousins. And Mulana Tayyib Rahmatullah Alay's father, who's known as Haji Karim, is uh, colleague of Mulana Ilyas Rahmatullah So within the family, I would say more or less about from six or seven different angles. And not only to, to, to the work of Tabligh, uh, Sheikh, I'm sure you will know even, uh, 